Barnhart, Texas is a dusty, unincorporated community in Erion County where the truckers who drive in each day easily outnumber the hundred or so people who call it home. This is Texas industry. This is what, tex this is what makes Texas money. And yes, we have to have it, but not at this expense. A stone's throw from the corner of Reagan and Main Streets are dozens of fracking wells in every direction. Drilling operations that blast millions of gallons of water into the ground to break up rock and retrieve oil or gas, a process that a few weeks ago added to the strain on the area's water resources. You know, you don't miss the water till the well runs dry, but honey, we missed it. On June 4th, Barnhart officially ran out of water. The sole public well stayed dry for nearly three days. The oil and sand companies working nearby, an area hospital, and people in neighboring towns all donated bottled water. All the while, well, this is showing how fast the water is coming through this meter. John Nanny was working on a longer term solution. He choked down the well to a third of its capacity to get it pumping again and hooked up an auxiliary pump. There's a lot of uh, straw sucking out of this one little aquifer. With the oil boom going like it is, all these well drillers are maxed out. According to the Texas Water Development Board, the state's water agency, Fracking represents less than 1% of the state's water use, far less than what farmers and cities use. But it adds that the percentage used for fracking can be larger in some areas of the state. And the persistent drought here doesn't help. Most people around here have private wells that have run dry in recent years. Beverly McGuire's did two years ago. I wish there was something we could do to reuse the water. Glenda Kukendall knows it's only a matter of time until hers does. They're going to have to do it differently. Or there's not going to be anybody here to produce this oil, take care of this oil, because if you don't have water, you're not going to have the people here to do this. The Texas Railroad Commission, which oversees the oil and gas industry, has recently changed its rules to make it easier to recycle water in Texas. But recycling the water used for fracking is slow going in the state. For one, it's expensive. The water that comes out of the oil fields needs a good cleaning before it can be reused. Fresh water is relatively cheap. But to the people of Barnhart who are not going anywhere, they say water is a precious resource that's going to be tough to come by. Staying here? Oh, yes. It's all changed, but we haven't changed. Reporting in West Texas, this is Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune.